Look what I found in the hedge. Rusty steel pipe. Excellent. <laughs> I used it for an experiment years ago and forgot all about it. It's about eight inches wide, so perfect for my field railway. Very good. <laughs> I found the rails. I mean, considering what that would have been like with a wheelbarrow or something, yeah. it was dead easy. Yeah. But it's heavy because it's thick walled pipe. Yes, a bit rusty. How big is that? About eight inches on the outside. Will and I are using my pipe cutting setup to cut slices off the end of it. Now I know I've posted videos of making railway wheels before, but this one is a little different because the pipe slices are a key part that we didn't use before. So this is the easiest way ever to make your own railway wheels. We all need railway wheels now, don't we? The wear plate, I suppose. That bit goes in there. We are using a new method for cutting the rings off evenly. The point in the middle of the wooden disc should remain fixed, even if the end of the pipe is uneven. So it's a way to keep the pipe from moving in and out while it's being rotated, so it stays in position relative to the grinder. We replaced this thin screw later with a thicker one, but either way you can adjust the width of the ring by having the screw further in or further out. But I'm sure you figured that out already. We'll see when we make the first cut whether it's actually straight. How straight it is, yeah. Yeah, that would be interesting. I'm getting a bit sparkle. <laughs> You get sparkles as well. Yeah, I couldn't. I, I was just. I was looking the other way. I couldn't. Uh... The wall of this pipe is six millimeters thick, but three millimeters would be easier to cut and plenty strong enough. As it was, there was quite a lot of grinding to get four rings cut but still it was quicker than rolling lengths of flat bar. And of course, these ones are stronger and rounder. Rusty, but rounder. The wheels are probably the most expensive part of a railway, so that's why I'm sharing this here. No need to buy them, just make your own. As you know, wheels are usually cast and then turned on a big lathe or pressed with a huge hydraulic press. Both ways are way beyond most people's workshops. Straight, both edges are straight. Hmm. Cool. So far, all we've needed is a big grinder. Now, they need insert plates welded in on either side. I cut this shape on my marvellous plasma cutter, but I know that most people don't own a plasma cutter, let alone a marvellous one like mine. Pretty good. So, I drew this design too, to show how you could make these with just an angle grinder and a drill for the hole in the middle. As you know, grinders cut straight lines happily but they can also take the corners off things so they can help you make a convex curve but they're not very good for making concave curves so this shape has no concave curves in it they're cut from three millimeter steel plate they get tapped into place 
and then weld it in a few places. Not too difficult so far is it? The next part is trickier but still possible. You see you need this shape to make the flange. You could make it in a few different pieces if it's easier and then weld them up again later. And if you cut these lines first that would make it easier to get that inner curve. Once you have the crescent shape, bashing it about with a hammer will bring it into a nice flared cone shape. Which slips over the wheel, if you've done it right, and can be welded into place. And that's my new railway wheel from a pipe. I like it a lot. I think they're pretty good. Instead of hardened steel axles, I'm using cheapy galvanized water pipe. Because it will be strong enough, I think, but mostly because it's a fraction of the cost. Yeah. I'm going to need lots of these wheel sets, so finding a way to make them cheaply is really important for me because the wheels, as I say, are normally the most expensive part of a railway. It makes the whole railway project much more likely to happen. Every wagon I make will need four wheels, obviously, so there's plenty to do, but at least each set will cost only a few euro instead of a few hundred euro. Now, I'm sure I'm going to get lots of comments saying the tread needs to be tapered for running on a railway track. So, I'm going to add a link in the description to a video I made already about making wheels with tapered treads. And I ask you to watch that one first before you comment. Okay? <laughs> Let's see what happens. I'm going to go away now and make a new sort of wagon to suit these wheels. And I'll show you that next time.